So this is what we call retrieval. This is when we ask the children just to find facts in a text. I have with me Sam today who's going to help us uh, with retrieval and these are active things that you could do at home when you've been reading with your child. So let's say your child has read a page or a couple of pages, it's really good if you have read it as well, then you can ask them some questions about it. So retrieval is when we ask a child just to find some facts that are in the text. So I've got Sam here, so I'm going to be asking Sam some questions. I may be stopping him and then I'll be talking to you as well. So Sam, um, having a look at that, you've just read this, yeah? So if you want to pause the video, you can pause it and read the text yourself, but I'm just going to carry on. Sam, when was um, Helen Sharman born? Um, 30th of May, 1963. Brilliant. So what Sam has done, he's seen that date there and he's taken it. If you have more than one date on your page, it's quite good to ask that question to your children or something where, because if children are scanning for a date, if you notice on this page, there are actually three dates. And in a way, you could sort of just make sure that your children are definitely focused on the bit when she was born and not the other bits when she won or when she was launched into space. Okay, so what happened, Sam, on the 25th of November, 1989? Um, Helen won competition to be an astronaut. Brilliant answer. See how Sam could have read that bit there and just said Helen won. So try and say, what did she win? So we can know that Sam has really understood what's been going on. OK, how many people did she beat to become the winner? So here Sam is now looking for a number, because I've said how many. There's lots of numbers on the page. Let's see if he can find the right one. 1,300. It's not 1,300, but definitely you've found the number. What number is that? It's not 1,300. 13,000. Well done, Sam. It's 13,000. See, notice how I use the words beat to become a winner, because it doesn't actually say she beat 13,000 people. It's, we're asking Sam to retrieve something, but we're also asking him to do some inference in a way, which we'll look at later as well. How did um, she know about the competition, Sam? Um, well, she heard about it and she went to the Radio. Can you point to that little bit there where it says that? Brilliant. OK, so sometimes if you're children, you think they might just be thinking, oh, I sort of remember that. Get them to point to that bit in the text. So they're definitely retrieving and finding the exact bit of writing for it. OK, how long did she have to train to be an astronaut? 18 months. Brilliant, 18 months. Can you point to that where it was for me? Excellent. So again, 18 months there, there are probably other dates and things like that that could I could have tried to confuse Sam, because you know what we're like, we're always trying to trick them out. Right, brilliant. We're not really. We're just trying to check they've understood what they've read. OK, um, when the competition started, who was she working for? A um, Mars Bars company. Right, brilliant. Well done, Sam. So as you see, most of the questions I've asked have gone around there. Now I've jumped to a totally different part of the page. That's quite a good thing to do as well. Otherwise, children are expecting to see it there. We couldn't trick Sam out. He remembered that fun fact from the little bit at the bottom. OK, how long was she in space for? Um, So why Sam is, find, Sam is finding this tricky, because whereas when he had 18 months there, this one is not written in digits, it's written in the word, Sam, OK? So I'm going to give Sam... so that, Oh, eight days. Eight days, brilliant. So we see there, so sometimes we'll see digits, sometimes we'll see numbers written in words. So that was a tricky question. I'm trying to catch you out, Sam, but I can't. OK, let's, so in space she did lots of things. What two things did, you, did she do while she was in space? Took photos of the British Isles. Yeah. Chatted to school children over the over the radio. Brilliant. So that was two things there. So Sam used the bullet points there in this non-fiction book to help him ask, answer those questions. Well done, Sam. Thanks very much. I may ask you to help me with another one in a moment. So that is retrieval. That is just finding out facts from a text. Obviously, this is a non-fiction text, so... In a way, it's probably easier with a non-fiction text, but you can obviously do it with a fiction text too.